I came to Tulare County for, because it's beautiful here, because I'm a fly fisherman. I love fishing in the mountains. And uh, I like the town of Visalia. The, it was a, really a town of 30,000 when I moved here. And it uh, became a, a big city now of 150,000. So we, I've watched it grow up and it still has a hometown, small town feel. And I wrote this book, A Walk Around Visalia. And it's about uh, 10 different walks that we can take around the city of Visalia. And I wrote it a few years ago from, based on some uh, articles I wrote for a local weekly paper here. Uh, it uh, covers history in Visalia a little bit and also planting. I love the trees here. So we have uh, uh, coverage of two different things in this, in this book. This downtown area is especially uh, appealing to me and to many because it's so, it's full of uh, ind independent restaurants and independent stores, all doing a good business here. It's grown up in the last uh, 30 years or so to be this. Uh, we fixed up the Fox Theater right down the way there and have shows there all the time. We have a lot of children's events here in town with the Enchanted Playhouse Theater Company. We have a children's museum uh, near downtown here. So there, there's just lots of family things and lots of entertaining things to do. A number of new breweries. There's always something new here. It's really exciting. So we're standing here in front of the Visalia Times Delta office, present day office. It was uh, founded in 1851. And Visalia was founded in 1852 when there were 548 people living here. So it had a paper before it was actually a city. The history is interesting because there were several papers at that time. And um, as the lead up to the Civil War progressed, one paper took the side of the South and another paper took the side of the North. The conflict was severe enough here that the uh, California, the state of California, which uh, was a Union state, of course, sent troops down here to Fort Babbitt or Fort Visalia, and they actually enforced the laws in odd ways. At one time, a, uh, in, in the 1860s, the Southern sympathizing paper put out an editorial that was very much against Lincoln. And the Union soldiers stationed here came into town and tore the presses out and threw them on the, on the street, threw them out in the street. So that paper was up and running again in a week or so, but, but it was still was a lot of conflict. Uh, the funny thing is that in the 1860s, essentially the two papers, the Southern paper and the Northern paper merged, and that's how we got the Visalia Times Delta, the Tulare Times and the Visalia Delta merged. We're walking up towards the Ben Maddox house here. It was built in 1876 by Ben Maddox, who was a newspaperman. He owned the Visalia Times Delta when it merged and ran it as a publisher and owner for a long time. So famous, we have a street named after him. This house is now occupied by owners. It was a bed and breakfast for a while, but uh, it's turned back into a single family house. Visalia is a tree city, recognized by the uh, National Arbor Society for years and years and years now. And um, you can see in the back, a American elm that was planted here quite a few years ago. And there were a number of American elms planted here. A few of them still survive, the Dutch elm blight, but they're still healthy and still doing it for the city. Uh, we're standing in front of the Tulare County Library that was built in 1936. This part was part of the WPA funded uh, building programs to get the United States out of the depression. And um, it's a beautiful building that's now been turned into the children's wing of the newer library that was added to it in 1976. So it goes back from here into the uh, 
main library part. The original library was down on Main Street and it was built in 1902 by the Carnegie Foundation. And then in 1936 it moved here. Well, behind me is the annex to the Tulare County Courthouse. The county courthouse itself uh, was destroyed in a small earthquake. They're rare here, but they do happen in the 1950s and was torn down. But uh, it was actually not that courthouse, but the courthouse before where they had jailed a man named McCrory. And McCrory was, James McCrory was not a good guy. When he was in his cups, he took it out on other people. He went into a bar and shot a man three times and then laughed about it. This made the uh, citizens of Visalia mad and uh, the police arrested him and put him in jail in the courthouse here and the citizens wanted to take their own justice. So they overpowered the guards, dragged him out and hung him over a bridge that was right at this corner here. There's a bridge over Mill Creek, probably only about 10 feet high, but high enough to drop him and break his neck. Here on Main Street, we have some of the original granite curbs. These were cut in the mountains near here and brought down to be curb stones when they paved the streets. And in the granite curbs, they put hitching rings for the horses. A few of them have been pres preserved. Here we can see a nice mural painted by high school students, actually, of uh, the sequoias. Um, Nice to bring them down here if people can't get to the mountains. The Visalia Post Office was built in the 1930s as part of the WPA. And um, you can see it's a beautiful building. A lot of hand work goes into it. Uh, all the cement work, the brick work, it's just amazing. Uh, there are parquet floors, marble ornaments inside. They really did a lot of work and employed a lot of people building it. It's still an active post office, although it is not the main post office anymore that has moved to a larger building. On each side of the post office, they planted two trees. One, a magnolia here in front, and behind it is a sequoia. Sequoias are the largest trees in the world when they get old. The General Sherman tree is in Tulare County. And uh, this is a smaller specimen that's been here for about 80, 90 years. We're standing in the lobby of the Fox Theater. The Visalia Fox Theater was built in 1926 as one of many Fox Theaters throughout California. It had been abused and badly used for years when a nonprofit group took it over and uh, remodeled it, re refurbished it into the beautiful theater it is today. We have wonderful ironwork on the stairs. We have elephants on the beams. We have all kinds of special wooden carving. It's just a, an amazing building. Let's take a look inside. These Fox theaters often had uh, exotic themes, mythological elements, Egyptian architecture paintings of exotic places with palm trees and giants on the, above the stage to watch over you. It's just an amazing uh, conglomeration of fun things. It still has excellent acu acoustics and the Tulare County Symphony performs here, as well as many other groups. Well, I guess this is the end of the walking tour of Visalia. 
although there are many, many more beautiful places to see in this wonderful little town. I call it a little town. There are 150,000 people now. When I moved here, there were more like 30,000. Uh, I encourage you all to come here. It still has a small town feel with lots of independent people doing independent restaurants and stores and lots of things for kids to do. And we have nearby Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. Yosemite is not far away. And of course, if you want to go to the ocean, it's only a couple hours the other direction. It's a great place to be and a wonderful place to live.